As global reserves of fossil fuels dwindle, the oil and gas industry has turned to fracking, a more dangerous and expensive extraction method that threatens our climate. Hydraulic fracturing, called fracking, is a way to access natural gas out of rock deep in the earth. Fossil fuel companies can frack anywhere, from wilderness to people's backyards. The process starts by drilling sometimes more than a mile deep to get to shale rock. Then fracking fluids are injected. This toxic cocktail requires millions of gallons of fresh water, mixed with some of over 600 chemicals, including known carcinogens like lead, formaldehyde, and even more the fossil fuel industry won't disclose. Under high pressure, the rock fractures, sending the trapped methane gas back up the well. Most of the fracking fluid stays underground. The fluid that comes back up is either dumped into rivers, left in open pits that contaminate the air, or hauled away by big rigs. The toxic fracking fluid that stays underground becomes even more toxic over time as it picks up radioactivity and other contaminants. Those fluids and gases can then seep into aquifers, which provide irrigation for farming, and turns drinking water into a toxic mix. The industry conceals the exact amount of methane that escapes during fracking. But in North Dakota, where fracking is done primarily for oil, the methane is released and burned off in such great amounts that it's visible from space. Methane is a super pollutant. It's 86 times more disruptive to our climate than the carbon dioxide from coal burning power plants. Air and water pollution from fracking leads to respiratory and nervous system problems and other diseases, including cancer. When you add up the climate disruption, air pollution, poisoned water, and the damage to our health from fracking, it's clear natural gas is just another dirty fossil fuel, and we should leave it in the ground. We can power America with 100% clean energy like wind and solar. It's time to invest in solutions that move America beyond natural gas.